Rockstar has given us possibly one of the worst updates we've ever had in the history of GTA Online, leaving a big buzz around the community with fans asking, why? Of course, there's theories going around, like Rockstar is busy working on GTA 6, they're making some backend changes in GTA 5, or maybe they just hate us. Well, I'm here to share with you what I believe is the reason for such a weak update. So. Three days ago on January 15th, Tez2, who is a reputable member of the community for sharing advanced news, you could say, posted that GTA Online had a background update. This update consists of fixing a bug causing auto shop client deliveries to disappear and customization orders to be bugged out, fixes a bug where the nightclub chair disappears and the player is stuck, not being able to exit the building, fixes a bug causing missions launched from the nightclub or vehicle warehouse computer to not launch properly, fixes a bug where a second player or more end up stuck inside the building after the intro cutscene during ULP intelligence, patching an acid lab dupe glitch, as well as patching out account duplication glitches. And that was just the start. The following day, Tez says that the background update addressing the auto shop missing customer car bug was fixed on consoles only, and there's not yet a fix out for the PC version. And then yesterday on the 17th, he tweeted once again that there's another background update, fixing a bug with marketing login rewards transactions on PC, patching the solo agency god mode glitch, and patching the MOC GCTF dupe glitch. So that is a lot of background patches, more than usual for a typical week of GTA. That's probably what their focus was this week. They were just trying to debug the game since a good amount of content was actually added with our most recent Shop Shop DLC. It still doesn't exactly explain why the weekly update was so bad because all Rockstar has to do is like flip switches in the files. This car on sale, this car on sale, turn those on, turn the ones from the previous week off. Cause man, we are in shambles right now. But hopefully all of these background updates will provide a better quality of life experience for the player base. And maybe we can look forward to seeing more background patches roll out throughout the week. Hopefully fixing that auto shop missing car thing for the PC players. But that's it for this one. I just wanted to share what I thought could be the reason behind this, considering there is some news that does hypothetically give us a reason as to why this week is so bad. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video, comment down below, and do share what your theories are. I would love to hear some other takes on this. Sub to the channel if you guys are new, and that's about it. Take care and I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace!